it's Karen Frost here with Handmade Soap Decadence and I am making soap today. I'm making a man's soap. Um, I thought you'd like to join me. Um, it's going to be using the fragrance Werewolf from Nature's Garden. <coughs> um, I'm not very good at describing fragrances but um, the description said citrus notes, um, Lavender, leather, musk, um, and I'm getting, oh, and patchouli and sandalwood. Um, I'm getting the lavender and the patchouli, and yeah, there's just a hint of the citrus, and I'm getting the, a bit of musk. Not really getting much vanilla. It's, um, it's, a, it's an interesting fragrance. It's it's masculine, definitely masculine. Um, so yeah, let us begin. So I've got my oils ready, everything's ready, everything's at room temperature. I'm going to stick my glasses on because I've now got my goggles on. I've got the house to myself for the moment because my daughter is out. She had a sleepover last night at one of her friend's houses. And my husband's gone to football and he's taken my little man or our little man with him. So I am on my own. So I thought I'd take advantage and make some soup. I'm just giving my, um, my eyes a little bit. What did I say? Yogurt, soy powder, buttermilk, cream, double cream that is. I think that's it. Soy powder, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's all in there. Anyway, it's my usual <sighs> milky, milky mix, which is fabulous for the skin, very moisturising. So I just want to give that a little blitz. Start. Oh, that was a scrunch. I've noticed when I blitz it up, it, it uh, loosens up a lot. You yeah, are splattering. I shall get my lime water. I'm not happy with this glove. This glove is even smaller than that one. Do you see that? What is going up with this glove? Anyway, carrying on. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a lovely Sunday. For once, the weather is looking nice. It's actually sunny. It's warm. I mean, it's not hot, but it's uh, certainly not cold. I'm just going to get my kaolin clay in. I'm only doing a small batch today. I've got some mica colours I'll show you when I'm mixing them. So I'm just blitzing in the kaolin clay, make sure I get out all the lumps. day today. I'm not feeling wonderful by any means but I'm certainly not feeling as awful as I was so that's a good thing and hubby's taking us out to dinner tonight for an early Mother's Day treat which is cool. I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to stop my face today. I am a 
very foodie person. I love my food. Right, in with my lime water, which is just distilled water, caustic soda, which makes the lime bar, and tuss of silk. Pure, unadulterated, unadulterated wild tuss of silk. So I pre-strain mine because it saves messing about on camera but also um, I do get debris in it from plant matter because I think I've mentioned before in one of my videos they harvest it after the moths have left so no cruelty to the little wormies and moths and stuff. Righty ho, let's give that a stir and I'll mix it. emulsification and then I'll get my milks in and my extra butters well they're not extra butters they've been calculated in my super fats but I decided to put them in after I've emulsified just to sort of help make sure that at least some of these hopefully do not disqualify so that it's had a chance to eat on the other oils. Other oils being olives and sunflower. I do use a lot of cocoa and shea butter. I also use coconut cream in this mixture as well, <coughs> which is why it sounds kind of gritty. I don't know if you can hear it on camera, but it does have coconut bits in it from the pure coconut cream. You have to be careful when you're buying coconut cream because some of them have crap in them. <clears throat> Not all of them are 100% just pure coconut so make sure you look on your ingredients on your coconut cream if you purchase any. Yeah, I use coconut cream in cooking. So I always like to have a good one for cooking as well. So I already oh, already knew about coconut cream from there. And West Indian heritage wise. So when it comes to making rice and peas, you need coconut milk and coconut cream. I also like to cook some Thai stuff. Um, my husband likes a Thai green curry. That uses coconut milk as well, and coconut cream. I haven't cooked that for a long time because I haven't been up to cooking very much. So I've missed. I like cooking, but I've not been been able to do it because you know standing up in the kitchen. I do have a, a chair in there <coughs> to help me, but. It's still really difficult at the moment. Just even holding this spatula is causing my fingers to spasm. So you can imagine I can't really wield a, a knife very well at the moment. Right, no cooking for me right now. Well, not what I consider real cooking. Yeah, enough of me waffling. Let's get on with the soap. That's what you're here for. What colour should I do first? This discolours to a tan, um, so I'm going to leave the base with a bit of titanium dioxide because um, I don't want it to go too dark. Um, I'm going to be doing. Should I mix? The, I think I'll mix the green. I've got some green. I'm only mixing a bit of green in, so let's get some in here. Um, this is a green mica that I have mixed with um, some chromium green oxide to darken it down a little bit because I thought it would be too bright otherwise. I didn't want a bright colour. So let's get some of that in. See, it's 
it's loosening up now because of my butters I'm not trying to solidify anymore so I shall have a nice loose mix to work with I did a large water discount on my other soap this one has a water discount but nowhere near as big as the, um, the one I had used in the previous soap to this because <coughs> I want this one to stay looser This is Merlot Mica and I've also put a bit of red oxide in it to danken it down a bit. Danken? What the hell? Darken! <laughs> <laughs> I am still heavily medicated, you will have to excuse me. and then I'll add my fragrance and get this lot in the mould. So I'll stick my glasses back on. some of those air bubbles that I incorporated as well as scraping down the sides to get any uncoloured soap from it. Use my chair scraping. Grab my mould. Let's make sure it's in the frame. I'm actually wearing a dress today. My goodness, I haven't worn a dress in goodness, I wasn't that long. Right. So get some of this in. I can see bubbles, and you just give it another stir. I'm going to go down in stripes first of all. Let's see how long my bat 
person would play ball with me. <clears throat> Base color. Should put these in order, shouldn't I? What did I do? What did I do? I did the brown. This time I'm going to put a line of red after the green. up my colours because I want to do it that way. I don't want it to be uniform stripes. I want it to be more haphazard stripes. Random.
this fragrance smells like, but it's not, it's nice. It's not unpleasant by any means. But I just like I don't, I don't know what it smells like, so it's really hard for me to describe. I mean, I'm crap with describing fragrances anyway. But this one, I even got my friend Sandra to have a smell because we were, I wanted to, uh, you know, give it a name. I was like, what do you think this smells like? And we both came up blank. So, it's the werewolf fragrance from Nature's Garden. But I didn't want to call it werewolf because I just didn't think it smelled like werewolf. And it's not what I would imagine Jacob from Twilight smelling like. I am a on team Jacob. Most definitely. Edward does with his pale skin and his scrawny body I'm sorry that does nothing for me one of my other best friends she's team Edward and when we go to the cinema when we went to the cinema to watch him um, she was loving the Edward scenes and I was like Ugh. And I was loving the Jacob scenes, and she was like, <laughs> <laughs> different strokes for different folks, eh? brown. Why didn't somebody tell me I'd left my brown? I'm going to sprinkle it on. I have to. It's got to be done. I'm not leaving my brown off. You didn't tell me I left my brown. Or maybe you did. Were you shouting saying, you haven't put your brown on?
thing. Get out of my house, you lanky fly. Ugh. See, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I don't like. About the weather warming up with these lanky, disgusting flies. Right, so it's not a high, high top. It's just textures a little bit. I've ruined it. It ruins it, precious. It ruins it. It's a shame. Because the uh, pattern that I had going on was really quite cool until I messed it up with the brown. Oh well. Never mind. It still looks nice. Not as pretty, but it still looks nice. There it is, finished and done. I'm not going to mess with it anymore, seeing as now it's looking completely different to what it was before, and I thought it looked better before, but never mind. There you go. That's it now. That's my, I think I am going to call it Lover Man, because I don't think werewolf fits. Although the top kind of does look a bit like fur. <laughs> right. That's it. Watch out for the cutting video. Take care now, Pete's home. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. It's Karen Frost here with Handmade Soap Decadence, and I'm cutting my man soap today. This is the one I made the other day um, with the werewolf fragrance. Um, I think I might call it mortal. That was Sandra's suggestion, actually, my friend Sandra. She suggested that. Because I still don't think it smells like a, a jig werewolf. I'm just adjusting my string at the moment. So I've changed my string to a thinner one to see how that cuts. And see if that makes a difference with the bubbles that you get. I want to just give it a go. It does give you less bubbles with a thinner string. And there's my sort of tigery, stripey pattern. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, like that. Oops, don't know what I just dropped there, but I dropped something. It wasn't my soap, so I don't care. <laughs> the soap is safe. I haven't decided what soap I'm going to make next. Um, I'm having a think about that at the moment. I might do some cupcakes. I'm thinking about doing cupcakes. That's what I'm thinking about. Let's see if I can put my light to shine a bit better. Can you see that? My swirly swirlies. Well, it's not really swirlies, it's stripes. Stripes, stripes, stripes. I've got to finish doing my nails. I need to finish putting some more gel on them, tie them up and colour them. I'm thinking I'm going to do a dark purple this time. You shall see. But I wanted to cut my soap first. So I started my nails and I thought, no, I want to do my soap. I want to cut it. I want to have a look. And there it is. Got a few drag marks. And that's from the bits of coconut and soy powder and oatmeal powder that's in there. So it's not completely smooth. I mean, it's smooth, but it's not. It's got tiny little pieces in it from those, which are very good and nourishing for the skin. Most importantly. And yeah, aesthetics are uh, are important, but. It's all very well having a soap that looks good, but if it feels like crap on your skin, then well, mm, 
not very good there. Hope everyone's doing well and enjoying this little bit of good weather that we've been having. It's a bit clouded over today, but we did have sunshine for a couple of days, which was really nice. And hubby took me out for my early Mother's Day meal with me, obviously the kids, and we had such a nice evening. The kids behaved themselves and we all ate extremely well. Oh my goodness, we ate so much, it was so good. I like this swirl. I think it's pretty cool. It's a shame about my top. My top didn't come out the way I wanted it to. If you watched the making video, you'll see that I had a really nice pattern on the top and then I ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, such is life, eh? Such is life. Oh, boy, it feels a bit loose. Tighten up a bit. myself some new spare wires I think. There we go. There's the last slice. Focus camera. Yay. Cool. It is sort of camo-esque, isn't it? A bit like camouflage. I still like it though. It's pretty. I'm just going to cut this one in two. Actually, no, I won't. I'm going to cut it into three. There can be sample bars. Oops. Pretty big hunks for a sample bar, but that's all right. Mm. I'm not sure what it smells like. Just smells like man. <laughs> Just smells like man. So yeah, I think I will go with Sandra's suggestion of mortal. And that's it. So that's all I've got for now and when I've decided what soap I'm going to make next, I will video that for you. Um, I've still got to get on with the giveaway video. That might even be up by the time like this one goes up, but we shall see, we shall see. But that's all I've got for now, so thank you for watching everyone and thank you to all my new subscribers that old as well, of course. And um, that's it. So take care now, peeps, and I will see you soon. Bye.